Okay, I'm trying to make this uh, the easiest way, so I'm recording it with my phone. Uh, sorry for my English. Uh, I just found out that someone I really appreciate uh, is transgender, and I'm gonna read uh, out loud the official communicate that I haven't read before. Hi friends, I want to share with you that I'm trans. My pronouns are he, they, and my name is Elliot. I feel lucky to be writing this, to be here, to have arrived at this place in my life. I feel overwhelming gratitude for the incredible people who have supported me along this journey. I can't begin to express how remarkable it feels to finally love who I am, enough to pursue my authentic self. I've been endlessly inspired by so many in the trans community. Thank you for, for your courage, your generosity and ceaselessly working to make this world a more inclusive and compassionate place. I will offer whatever support I can and continue to strive for a more loving and equal society. I also ask patience. My joy is real, but it is also fragile. The truth is, despite feeling profoundly happy right now and knowing how much privilege I carry, I am also scared. I'm scared of the invasiveness, the hate, the jokes and of violence. To be clear, I'm not trying to dampen a moment at this joyous and one that I celebrate, but I want to address the full picture. The statistics are staggering. The discrimination toward trans people is rife, insidious and cruel, resulting in horrific consequences. In 2020 alone, it has been reported that at least 40 transgender people have been murdered, the majority of which were black and Latin trans women. To the political leaders who work to criminalize trans health care and deny our right to exist, and to all of those with a massive platform who continue to spew hostility towards the trans community, you have blood on your hands. You unleash a fury of vile and demeaning rage that lands on the shoulders of the trans community, a community in which 40% of trans adults report attempting su suicide. Enough is enough. You aren't being cancelled. You are hurting people. I am one of those people and we won't be silent in the face of your attacks. I love that I am trans and I love that I am queer. And the more I hold myself close and fully embrace who I am, the more I dream. The more my heart grows and the more I thrive. To all trans people who deal with harassment, self-loathing, abuse and the threat of violence every day, I see you, I love you, and I will do everything I can to change this world for the better. Thank you for reading this, all my love, Elliot. Okay, uh, despite my first love is clearly not English, and uh, the most of my videos in this channel of, of them are in Spanish, I want to make this one in English because this is really special for me. This person, despite the fact that I don't know them uh, in real life, but I will, I hope that some, someday I will, is someone that it could have been the closest thing to something like a reference to me. And knowing that them are trans, It, it makes something nice to my heart. It feels a little warmer. And uh, <laughs> despite the fact that I don't think Elliot will see this, the priorities are really low, I really want to say thank you for this. I'm really grateful for 
for your courage, your bravery to do this because you're really, really exposed. And uh, I know my journey and yours are gonna be so different, so, so different in so many ways I can't even imagine. But I'm really thankful. And although I don't know you in real life, the things I saw about you in talks and interviews, you're really, really important in my life in some way. And, and I love you. I love you so much. Uh, and even when we don't know each other and you uh, really don't know me, you don't have a clue who I am, I want to say that I'm here for you as I am for the rest of the trans community. And I love the fact that you are surrounded by magnificent people that make you feel safe and loved enough to do this and do it on your own. I want to thank you beforehand to all the help you are going to bring the, to the community because I know you will because you're visible and you use it right as far as I have seen but well the message here is that I'm here for you that I support you that I'm proud of you I'm really 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 so proud of you so proud of the fact that you did this and uh, and thank you so much because I'm really sure that this is going to help a lot of American trans people that really need that because of the political situation and stuff but also for the rest of us who are honored from the United States you are becoming a referent to some people and I think you can do it really well. I know it's a big weight on your shoulders, but I have nothing to say but thank you and I'm here for you, for all of you.